Hello! Hi, Facebook! Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! I said I wouldn't be live today, but there was a little bit of a cross signal. I opened the Jesse James Bead Magical Mystery Box yesterday live here on Facebook, and I made a couple of designs that I'm going to show you today. Um, and they promoted it for me to be live today, and so I felt like, well, I better just hop on here yeah, and make some magic happen. So um, we are going to look actually at a, a mystery, a magical mystery box from two months ago, um, but it's a subscription-based box. You're going to sign up for it on their website, www.jessiejamesbeads.com, and you're going to sign up for a three-month, a six-month, or a 12-month, and they were kind enough to sign me up for a three-month. So this was my third subscription box, um, but I have an extra from a few months ago, so I'm going to open that up just so you can get an idea of what one of these subscription boxes looks like and then both Kristen and I Kristen's here from Arizona for our company meetings travel so it's nice um, to be here Kristen. happy to see you guys <laughs> Kristen and I are each gonna make something from the subscription box that I have on hand but again the one that just went out is gonna be different than what I'm showing you today and you can see the one that just went out by watching our video uh, here on Facebook in our video archives you'll be able to go there and see exactly what I opened and we'll kind of look at what I made yesterday too um, but I just thought it would be fun to jump on and I felt bad I don't want people um, showing up and then wondering what in the heck happened so <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> yeah, and Kristen's here, so I get to be with somebody, not virtually, but yes. like in real life, we get to be together. Yay. So that's super exciting, too. So I'm going to go ahead and flip down the camera. We'll take a look at that subscription box from a couple months ago, just so you can get an idea of the uh, plethora of items that you get in one of these subscription boxes. And then we'll make something using Softlex beading wire or craft wire. Um, and each, Kristen and I each are gonna do something on the spot. So this is a design challenge. We don't have anything planned. In fact, I didn't even know I was doing this until 10 minutes ago. So <laughs> it's truly, it's truly a challenge. Truly, truly a challenge. Yeah, yeah, so I'll flip down and Kristen will keep, she'll be here with us to chit chat and then she will jump in and do a video as well. Um, or a portion of the video. Because if she's here, I'm going to put her to work. Yeah, right? seriously. I okay, so it's going to look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing a good job of that, for sure. So this is the coupon code that came in the box that I opened yesterday. It's called a Magical Mystery Bead Box. This is what it looks like. It comes in the mail once a month. You sign up for a subscription. From and Jesse it's just, James. Yeah, from Jesse James Beads. It just automatically shows up, which is fantastic. <laughs> um, who doesn't want to just get like a box of beads without thinking about it every single month? Um, so Kristen's going to start kind of opening the box while I talk a little bit about this. So if you are brand new to Jesse James Beads, it's a company that sells Softlex beading wire. And we love to work with them um, on all sorts of marketing endeavors because they've just got a fantastic assortment of beads. And so these mystery, these magical mystery boxes have been amazing. This is my third month doing it. And this one was um, called Midsummer Night was the theme of the box, and it was gorgeous. It had a lot of really pretty teals and blues. This is the necklace that I made yesterday on the live show, and again, you can find that on in our Facebook archives um, here at the Softlix Company Facebook page. But this beautiful owl came in um, that particular subscription box along with all of the beads that I used here. And then I just used a really lovely fluorite soft flex beading wire, which is this one here. It's our medium diameter, so it's our more, most versatile diameter. It can fit uh, very tiny seed beads, but can handle things that are a little bit more abrasive, like some of the materials that I used here, like metals and gemstones. Um, but it comes in lots of different colors. And for this particular design, I chose our fluorite, which is just a really pretty sort of mint green color. 
And it looks like Jesse James Beads just joined us. Hi, Sarah James. We love you. Kristen's here with me, Sarah. So hey, she's going to jump in and make something too today. Um, so anyway, I made this gorgeous necklace from this latest subscription box. And then I made a pair of earrings as well. And they're really simple, just a piece of wire attaching at the bottom, a bead, another bead, and then a crypt tube. This, this finding, the bead, and this bead here all came in the, the subscription box kit. Um, and then we had a beading party as a company to kick off our company meeting. So I also made this like little fantastic do-dandy. And we'll have Kristen show what she made um, up here when she comes in to make something too. I totally put her on the spot today, you guys. <laughs> so <laughs> we've got some bone wire. I used this big gemstone. This came from Jesse James Beads. I don't think it was from this particular kit. It came from another one. Um, but this tassel, I think, was in the Midsummer Night's Dream subscription box and the dragonfly. Um, so I made that at our beading party and then just a cute little bobble, just a head pin with a little wire wrap loop. They have all these really great beads that are just the right size for just like a simple, fun earring. Um, and they always include these in the subscription boxes, but you can find these on their website normally too. And they work great with head pins, but also just a simple soft flex um, wire like this design here is really easy and fun. Um, so I love doing that. Okay, so let's open up this box, move what I made yesterday, and we'll keep this on the screen so you have that coupon code. That's, this is if you're 20% off an order over $59 on jessiejamesbeads.com, and the coupon code is Midsummer Night. That's a long coupon code, Sarah James. <laughs> That's a long coupon code. Okay, so... Let's see. How long so is again, for? Is there a time? yeah, it's good until September 20th and bulk and subscriptions are excluded. So if you're looking at to sign up for a subscription, this coupon code won't work with that, but they have tons of really great bead mixes and soft flex beading wire on their website um, that you should take a look at. So like I said, I'm actually opening up a second kit that I had received a few months ago that is an older uh, magical mystery box, but it'll give you an idea of just how many things you get in one of these boxes. So this one was called Tropical Escape. You got your thinking cap on, Kristen? I hope so. Kristen's <laughs> gonna make something on the spot. <laughs> She's stuck. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, I those, yeah. yeah, and each one was different too. I should grab my necklace. So. This particular subscription box had this beautiful pendant, and I have, um, it's actually right there. It's still hanging up on my um, beading area over here. I used this in, in the last design challenge <laughs> to make this gorgeous piece, which I just love. I love it so much that it's actually on a neck piece here in my office. Um, two or three months later, which is unusual because I make so much jewelry, I flip it out pretty frequently. So each one of these was different in the subscription boxes. So that was a lot of fun because, you know, what I ended up making might look very different from someone else um, that I saw use the same pendant in their magical mystery box. It also came with one of these, which I think these were unique in every box. Because I actually still have the one that I got in my box and then this is a different box and it has this guy here so that's really cool and something that I didn't even realize I guess since I hadn't opened a second box before is that um, you can actually get something kind of different um, in every box which is pretty fun this looks like something you would use yeah, I'm waiting. <laughs> right into it. and then there were some uh, faux coral beads so they're like sort of a corally orange color. Wow, they match this um, pendant really well, actually. So we have some of those. There was some of um, the fiber cord that Neele Patel uses so often in his designs, which is a lot of fun to work with. There's some really beautiful bulk chain. 
Look at this beautiful, very cool, very summery. This was like the June subscription box. So, um, and every month it's going to be different. So I'm just showing you an idea of what one of these subscription boxes will look like. You can see the latest one again on our Facebook video page um, if you want to open it up and take a look. And then we've got a really gorgeous flower toggle that's beautiful. We've got a lovely rainbow tassel, which that's also hanging up. Um, that must be the other designer day's one. Yeah. yeah. A rainbow tassel. Rainbow tassel. And Jesse James has awesome tassels, you guys. I love I love their tassels. This tassel's really cute. It's so fun to work with Softlex and the tassels because it's so easy to just link to it using a little piece of wire and a crimp. And then this particular necklace, I just crimped on either end to make a really quick, easy, long. And then I braided the wire in the back. I'm, I think this is red jasper, turquoise, and peridot are the colors of wire that I used. Um, on this design, which just sort of played with the colors in the fun little tassel in the front. Michelle says, so pretty. I know, there's so many great things in these kits. Then there's a nice big assortment bead mix here that you can make something with, which is cool. And Kristen's trying to look over my shoulder. I'm hovering because I need a new little inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think we'll just make stuff from, maybe you can set that up somewhere so it's a little more out of the way. Got it. There's enough beads here to make like a million things. So here's another little bead kit. These come in the subscription box. I'm still opening the subscription box, you guys. There's tons and tons and tons of beads. Beads for days. And if you sign up, then you get one of these every month. So here's the chain I used on the back end of that um, one necklace with the big, I don't know if that's a howlite drop or a turquoise drop. That looks like howlite. It's kind of like a howlite. It's a turquoise color. If it's a synthetic, it's a synthetic bead too. Just to made to look like it. So some really beautiful gold chain as well. So yeah, so one of these subscription boxes has like tons and tons of stuff in it. Um, because I wasn't expecting to come on today, I'm just going to do a really quick, easy project. And then Kristen's going to jump in and do something quick and easy as well. And then we got to get back to our company meetings. I'm sure they're already kind of wondering what the heck is going on here. We're, why we're beating all of a sudden. <laughs> but that's life, right? That's, that's the life of a beater. Here, we're beating again. Sorry, guys. I'm sure Scott's thinking, the owner's thinking, didn't we just have a beating meeting last night? <laughs> what is going on with these guys? Keep that beating going. These guys are super cute. So I'm thinking about something really simple um, to connect these and then just do a real simple ear wire at the top. So I'm thinking I want to bead with a color because there's a lot of really beautiful color beads here. So let me find something. Ooh. I do love yellow. I wonder if yellow is a little too much like the gold, though. So, ooh, this tanzanite color could be really pretty. Let's do a little tanzanite in there. If you're using Softlux beading wire, you can make tons and tons of projects when you have a mix of beads like this, because you don't always need a lot of beads if you expose the wire in your design. Um, so this is going to be a real quick and easy this is going to match my tanzanite wire so beautifully. And then I'm just going to use some of my gold filled Softlex crimp tubes, which are right here in my little container. Our Softlex crimp tubes are double the wall thickness of most. They're very strong um, and very durable. I'm just going to cut a little piece of this tanzanite wire. So it's the same as the wire I showed you earlier with the fluorite, but it's actually a tanzanite color. Um, and I will just make one earring now, and then I'll let Kristen jump in, and I'll finish my ear other earring off camera, because um, you don't need to watch me make it twice. 
but we are gonna take a crimp tube we're gonna string this two by two millimeter crimp tube onto our medium tanzanite wire we are gonna string it through one of these beautiful caged beads you can buy these separately from Jesse James beads too but they often come in their kits mixed in and then I'm just gonna loosely attach it you want to leave enough room that this can sort of move around and bobble and um, have some movement to it. I'm going to straighten out my wires inside my crimp tube so that they're side by side and not double crossing. And then I'm going to take my magical crimpers, which have like a little divot on either side. You can buy these crimping pliers from Softlix Company at www.softlixcompany.com. I'm not sure if Jesse James Beats carries uh, this tool or not. Um, but they may as well. And I'm gonna center my crimp tube right in the middle of my crimping plier and compress. If I do it right the first time, I'll have what looks like four little corners, like a little ravioli. And then I'm gonna turn it on its side and compress again. Hey, surprise, Rochelle. I'm sure you weren't expecting us to be on today since I said I wouldn't be yesterday. <laughs> But um, we wanted to jump on because uh, we had a little cross messaging about what day we were doing the design challenge kit with Jesse James Beads. And I wanted to make sure that everybody got to see a little bit of a design challenge here. Okay, so I've crimped and now it's very strong. I can really yank on this. It's, it's not going to come undone. I'm going to take the flat side of my cutter and I'm going to slide it up next to this crimp tube and compress. There we go. Oh, Jesse James Beads, it's not a huge favor. Thank you for sending me the beautiful subscription boxes for three months. Um, not only have I had fun doing the videos, but we actually used a lot of the leftover beads in our beading party yesterday and all of the staff really enjoyed making a bunch of different items. You can actually see what some staff members made by going to our Softlux Company Instagram page, or I think it's posted right on Facebook as, to, as well. Um, but most of the designs that people made yesterday, they gravitated towards um, the Jesse James beads that we had on hand. So you've always been so wonderful to us. There's no problem jumping on here and getting a chance to make something. So if you didn't see what I just did, I strung my crimp tube, a second crimp tube. I strung my little pendant guy down here for my earring. And then I'm gonna go back up into my crimp tube. I'm gonna pull this fairly tight. I call this a connector, because I'm actually connecting two things with just a bead in the center and then two crimps on either side. Um, it's very handy. It's a very handy little thing to have uh, if you wanna connect two little things together and make it look really pretty. So again, I'm gonna try to look for my wires to be side by side inside the crimp tube. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as close as possible. I'm gonna um, go ahead and put my crimp tube in the center of my plier. I'm gonna tug just a little bit to get it as close to that bead as possible. And you can make this loop on the bottom either the same as this one, or you could even go a little bit bigger if you wanted to. I'm gonna compress. And then I'm going to go around it uh, several times, anchoring it down on the wire and making this tube into a little round bead. Perfect. And I'm just going to slide in and trim. And then I've got my first little uh, earring here. I'm going to look for an ear wire um, to add to it. I don't think I have any gold ones right there, but I'll look for it while Kristen works on hers and work on my second one. And then we'll take pictures after and post them in our VIB group. That's always a great place to see what we're up to and to see what all of our customers are up to, too. I'm going to move out of the way, and Kristen is going to jump in and make whatever she's decided to make in the last <laughs> five minutes since I put her on the spot. Quick thinking. Let's see how I do. Hi, guys. Happy to be here. 
So I'm going to show you first what I made at the beading party last night, which was with, I think these came in the Midsummer Night um, kit that Sarah opened they did. up yeah. yesterday. So I made these sweet little, that I'm actually wearing today. I love them so much. Um, <laughs> they just happen to match my, my shirt I'm wearing. They've been distracting me in our beading <laughs> meetings today because all I can think about are her pretty earrings every time I look at her. I love it. And normally I probably would have picked up the um, antique brass color to go with the pretty brass and these findings. But I just love these the size and this nice deep emerald color of the tassel that I decided to use our, I'll put it a little closer. I decided to use our green emerald color to connect them. And I just think it turned out so cute. It's not a color I normally gravitate towards is this green emerald one here. Just bear with me as I figure out her setup and I'm trying to figure out how, how I'm looking on camera here. Yeah, you um, just have to um, bring your hands up sometimes. Yeah, a little but, bit more. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I am... There's not a lot of space. you got to stay in a very compact... Yeah, very tight little spot you got here, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm loving on this guy here. So I think I'm going to use... I'm a big fan of mandalas. And so the minute I saw this come out of the package, I said, oh, I think that's going to be mine. I think that's what I'm going to make with. So I've got that. I pulled out our citrine soft flex color. And then I just want to see what else that we can put with this. We've got green. Let me kind of come through this way. That's what I usually do. Now you're getting it. Now I'm getting it. <laughs> My tight little space. Yeah, I don't know how you work like this, Missy. Works out well. Sometimes I do it for hours. I know. <laughs> you sure do. <laughs> oh, I think those are fun. I think these guys are fun. Thank you. I love those earrings. I've gotten compliments all day on them. Who knew I was going to come in and bead last night and make like my favorite pair of earrings ever? <laughs> I did. I should have known, huh? I should have known. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. I like how I'm digging the orange, how it's pulling from... Oh my gosh. Oh, if I would have seen these, oh, maybe I should make these. My mom would totally love these guys. <laughs> you can take those. Oh. <laughs> I might may have to make my mom a pair of earrings. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. <laughs> we were joking with Kristen last night because she has a little bit of a difficulty making decisions. Oh, yeah, big time. <laughs> to dinner I really struggle with choosing something it's like the fear me. of choosing the wrong thing <laughs> no well you know I grew up in a family when my family gets together and we go out to dinner we do everything family style so that I think we all have that issue yeah. so it's like you know what you order this I'll order that the other person orders this thing and then we share it all <laughs> And we really get to try everything. Yeah, you too, Sarah. <laughs> I love it. If someone tells me they'll go out to eat family style, I am like, oh, you're like many best first friends. Tapa night. Tapas. <laughs> yeah. Christmas Appetizer night. night. Our first tapas together, like 15 years ago or something. Yes. She was like, this is amazing. I'm like, like, like 10 different things. Yeah. Tapas. <laughs> who knew? This is what I was waiting for. <laughs> Um, Boston, actually. Oh, Boston. We were in Boston. I've been there in so long. Yeah. That's a beautiful city if anybody's out there is from Boston. It was really nice. 
little side note, I actually, I think Boston is when I found out right afterwards that I was um, pregnant. pregnant with Ethan, with my with my oldest, who's now 14. Oh my God, that's how long ago it was. That's how long ago. Guess, 15 years, but... All right, oh so gosh. I'm going to go ahead and slide on my crimp tube here. I'm using the Softlex 2 millimeter by 2 millimeter crimp tubes. And I'm just going to slide this back. So Kristen has a new live feeding show on YouTube. Do you want to tell them a little bit about that, Chris? Oh, yeah. On Mondays at um, 11 a.m., I am on YouTube live with my own show called Free Spirit Feeding. And it is on the Softlex Company Facebook page, but it is her own show. Yeah, it's on, on the so our channel. It's on the Softlex Company channel. So you can find me there Mondays at 11 a.m. Pacific Time Live, or you can always go and watch it on our Softlex Company page later if you don't catch me live in action. And we were we were trying to come up with a name. <laughs> and we were like, all right, should we call it this? Should we call it that? And um, I actually have done a, a painting class called Free Spirit. Right now I'm just using the magical crimping tool to create my little crimp here. Sorry. Let me crimp that, squeeze it, and spin it around. And so we decided to come up with Free Spirit Beating because... I didn't want to have to decide what it was I was going to do. It goes back to not wanting to make a decision. Exactly. I wanted to be free to decide. To do to do <laughs> free to decide to do whatever it is I want to do. <laughs> so Kristen's worked for Softlex for 16 years? How many years was it? 15. 15, actually. 15 years. Yeah. And worked with me for longer than that because we worked together at a bead store originally. Yes. That's how Sarah and I met is we worked in a little mom and pop bead store, gosh, so long ago. <laughs> really long time ago. Really, really long time ago. It's looking beautiful. And as you can tell, we giggle away. And that was basically what we did. <laughs> how we and that's how we became friends. <laughs> yeah. We would go in the lunchroom and have lunch together. And we would laugh so hard that people would start to slowly come back to the lunchroom to see what was going on. <laughs> what is so funny back here? And we were like, we, we don't really know. We couldn't even tell them what we're laughing at. Okay. So I decided I just changed my mind here. So I'm stringing this one. And then I'm going to string this guy. Yeah, we didn't even know what we were laughing about. We were just having a good time. That's what life's about. Somebody yesterday on the video when I was closing was saying I was going to the beating party. We were like, you have so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my goal oh. every day, getting up. My husband always says that too, is just try to have fun. Life is short. Try to enjoy every moment that you can. That is great way so to be. So when things aren't so enjoyable. You can get through them. You can get through them. Yeah, right. totally. Yes. All right, I think I will just sort of crimp up that guy and then do the same thing. Hopefully these two will sit okay. I think they will. I think it's for them. Yeah, it's away. all about playing around and seeing how it goes. And we'll see. We will see. You, got, you have a crimp? Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> it just totally flew away. Oh, <laughs> we also have some new videos posting on our YouTube page from my other coworker, James Browning. He is doing a lot of really wonderful wire work videos. He has two of them up so far, and then his third will post next week. Yeah, I love his wire work videos. I definitely enjoy wire work, and I don't do a lot of it. Oh, you know what I need to do here? I need to do your trick, Sarah. That's what's not working. Oh, what's my trick? You're, you have a little... Oh, double wire. Double wire trick. Yeah. 
-hmm. So let me get that going here. Yeah, it's hard when it's only one wire, there isn't quite enough nylon coating for the crimp to really hold on to it very well. So when you, yeah, when you're using the magical crimping pliers, it really prefers two wires of soft flex to get your crimp to, to, to crimp down nicely and securely. And since I was just trying to do it on one, it was sliding off and we don't want that. So here is our little trick is you just cut a little piece of your wire and you slide it in here with your crimp tube so that you have your two wires that you can crimp down on and then you'll just trim off the excess. So we'll take that crimper, give it one good squeeze, turn it on its side 90 degrees, give it another squeeze, and go all the way around. And then you can just trim off your excess. Now that I'm looking at it, I could have just went up like a little Y like that. That's what happens when you design on the fly. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. And again, if you want to order a Jesse James, um, or order from Jesse James Beads, there is a coupon code here, Midsummer Night. You go to their website, and it's going to be 20% off an over $59 order. It doesn't include subscription boxes, though, so you'll have to do your subscription box, box separately. Um, you can sign up for a three month, six month, or 12 month. The three month is $34.99 per box. The six month is $31.49 per box. And the 12 month is $29 per box. I believe it's a one time payment. So you're actually paying for it all at once. But I could be wrong. Maybe Sarah can give us a little information um, on how these subscription boxes work. But I think it's one time. Jesse James, he's, work, Jesse James Bead says, work hard, have fun, enjoy every single moment, and be able to surrender to the flow. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is the trick, isn't it? The trick is to surrender to the flow. <laughs> love that. And Rochelle says, love working with people who can laugh. It sure does make for a joyful day. I don't, like, I really don't even know what my life would be like not working with Kristen at this point. <laughs> it would be really weird, for sure, because it's just been so long that we probably work just... together very well, and... Yeah, that would be very strange. We still mostly get along. <laughs> <laughs> we sure know when the other one's annoyed with us, though, don't we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we do annoy each other sometimes, but... That's okay. Most of the time, I'm really good. I think we, uh, you know, you can get annoyed. That happens. That's a part of life. It's, yeah, it's, it's how, how you handle you, it. It's how you communicate and how you handle it. Exactly. Yeah. And both of us always have good intentions. It's right. never like I have to worry about where your intention is coming right. from. Yeah. <laughs> that helps too. Or where my intention is coming from. Yeah. Definitely. Funny though, I've worked with so many of my coworkers for so long, it becomes like a brother sister sort of relationship or sister sister relationship. Yes. You definitely know where people's buttons are and what to avoid, what to not avoid on certain days because you just want to bug them. <laughs> Kim says she laughs all day with her kindergartners. Oh, that is awesome. Speaking of kindergarten, huh? Next Sarah's year. getting pretty close. Next I know. year for Evelyn, I can't believe it. That feels like so far away, but yet just yesterday at the same time for me. Yeah. I, I actually this year have no one left in elementary school. I've got a junior high kid and a high schooler, and it's weird. It's really weird. <laughs> it's gotta be. Oh, and I did it again. We need a trick. Oh yeah, you need the double wire. See, this is our. I'm, I'm starting to get looks through the glass door, wondering where I'm, we're at. For the okay, day, okay, one so. more second. I'm not gonna worry about a clasp. I'll just show you guys where I'm at. Yeah, we can take a picture at the end of the day and post it in our VIB group. If you haven't joined the Softlex VIB group, I highly suggest it. It's a great group of ladies that are all inspiring each other 
by using the beads that we sell in our live sales, using the beads from our kits, and um, just making some really fantastic jewelry designs. And then I post the pictures of what we make on our videos there as well, and our blog posts are posted there. So it's just a lot of great inspiration and information. Um, and it will come into your notifications if you leave your group notifications on, so you'll actually see when Softlex is doing something, which is handy. Well, I can definitely tell you my brain does not work as quickly as yours does on the uh, <laughs> on the fly videos, Miss Sarah. I know. It's tricky, right? <laughs> it is tricky. It is tricky. I, I totally get it. I've had some practice now. You so have. That makes it a little easier for me, I think. I'm telling you guys, it's not easy. <laughs> Sarah makes it look easy. <laughs> And you have no idea how she's working throughout this, like, hands through the tripod? What's going on? You should take a picture of that so you can see. Yeah. You really should. How funny. It's so normal to me that it just, like, doesn't even face me. Okay, so this is what I got. This is what I've got here. I'm going to I'm gonna add a clasp on the back, but I will do that off video because we're getting people peeking in the window wondering where we are. <laughs> and then here's the pair of earrings that I made earlier, uh, just using a little bit of tanzanite soft wax. And we'll just flip this down this way. Flip. This way. <laughs> Hi! So thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Jesse James Beats, for the three-month month subscription to your magical mystery boxes. I loved them, and I hope that a whole bunch of you go out and subscribe. And um, if not, you can always go to Jesse James Beats and just check out their normal bead mixes, our soft flex, all sorts of things, uh, using the 20% off coupon Midsummer night and then of course you can always check us out at www.softflexcompany.com and we're going to go into our meeting now and plan what we're doing for the next six months yeah so, yes all I'll right see all see of you, you guys next week <laughs> bye guys bye.